Hey guys, Gettles here with another DIY video to share with you. Today we'll be working on replacing the car battery on the 2016 Acura RDX. The difficulty level of this project is on the easy side as long as you have the right tools and parts. Before we start diving in though, let us quickly take a moment to answer some frequently asked questions about your car's battery. On average, a car battery's typical average lifespan is around 3-5 to five years, assuming you use it normally and don't subject it to extreme and heavy usage like making frequent short trips on the same day in 0 degree temperatures. One sign to tell is if you notice your power windows or power rear lift gate opening and closing slower than normal. This usually means that your battery is not holding a charge and or is fairly weak. Another sign is when starting your engine and you notice it cranking up slowly. A slow cranking engine is also usually indicative of a battery not holding a charge and or is fairly weak. Also when you start to notice corrosion on your battery terminals or signs of battery acid in the tray that usually means that a terminal will eventually fail which can mean that the battery will begin to fail soon. Of course, all the signs that I just mentioned are based off of the assumption that you take regular care of your car battery and do not subject it to extreme and heavy use and that your alternator and or charging system on your vehicle is functioning properly. Now that we have gone over the Q&A, let's move on to how to replace the battery. Before we begin this project, let's go over all the parts and tools that you'll need to complete this project successfully. 1. Obviously, the replacement car battery. Here I'm using a Duralast 24F-DL battery that I purchased from AutoZone for $149. This battery carries a 2 year warranty with 650 cold cranking amps at 0 degrees Fahrenheit and 810 cranking amps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had a pretty good experience with the Duralast brand battery before and have never had any issues with it, which is why I'm using it again for my RDX and why I would highly recommend it. If you guys have a better experience with another brand, please comment below and share. I would love to hear from you on which one you think is better. 2. Battery terminal and cable protector dielectric grease to prevent corrosion. 3. A 10mm socket and socket wrench to release and tighten the car battery terminal clamps. 4. A 10mm crescent wrench to release and tighten the battery hold down clamp. 5. A metal wire brush to clean the battery terminal clamps if there are any corrosion or rust. Now that you have all the necessary parts and tools, let's get removing. So there are 6 steps to this process. First step is to make sure that your engine has been turned off. I know it's a given but it's always good to mention for safety reasons. Second step is to pop the hood. For those of you that don't know, the hood release is located in the driver's side footwell over here. Just pull and the hood should pop up. Then at the hood, if you reach to the right underside of the hood, you should feel a release lever that will release the hood and allow you to lift it up. And look for the battery which is housed near the driver's side headlight area. Third is to loosen the battery terminal clamps using your 10mm socket and socket wrench and move the battery cables away from the battery to allow the battery to be removed. Just remember, lefty loosey. Okay? Cool. Fourth step is to loosen the battery hold down clamp bolts using your 10mm crescent wrench so that you can remove the clamp holding down the battery. Fifth step, remove the battery. It's heavy. So be careful. And be careful not to break or throw away the battery insulating sleeve. You will need to reuse it and wrap it around your new battery. Sixth and final step is to clean the battery terminal cable clamps and remove any corrosion that is present. Once the battery terminal cable clamps have been cleaned thoroughly, I also like to clean the battery tray area of any debris. Now that you have the battery removed, let's work on getting the battery ready before installing it back into the engine bay. On the new battery, remove the battery terminal protectors and apply a generous amount of the battery terminal dielectric grease over the battery terminals of the new battery. This will prevent corrosion to your battery terminals in the future. Once that is done, take the battery insulating sleeve from the old battery and put it over the new battery. Now you're ready to have the new battery installed, so let's get installing. Here you're going to slowly drop the new battery back into the battery tray with the red positive terminal on your left and 
the black negative terminal on the right side. Make sure that the battery sits perfectly flat onto the tray. Now take the battery hold down clamp and install it over the new battery using your 10mm crescent wrench. This might take some time to get it installed just right so be patient. Make sure that the clamp is tight enough so that the battery does not move around in the tray. Next, take the battery terminal cable clamps and clamp them over the battery terminals using your 10mm socket and socket wrench. I like to connect the red positive terminal first, then I connect the black negative terminal last. You might see a slight spark after the last battery terminal cable clamp touches the battery terminal. That is completely normal and you have nothing to worry about. Once all the battery terminal cable clamps are tight, cap the red positive battery terminal cover over the positive battery terminal and then that's pretty much it. I like to do a quick test by turning on the ignition and making sure that the new battery works and all the connections are solid. If the engine starts up and there are no electrical issues, then you're pretty much done. Now there's one small thing to note for those that have uh, the Acura RDX with technology package or the advanced package with the navigation system. So after you have restored power to your RDX and you turn on the power accessory on, you'll notice that your navigation system will show that it is locked and it will require you to enter in a security code as you can see here. If you do not know your security code like me, then what you will have to do is push and hold the audio power button for about 2 seconds and then it will automatically enter in the security code for you. If that doesn't work, then you'll have to contact your local dealership and obtain the security code from them. Or alternatively, you can go to the Acura owner's website. I'll put the link to that website into the description below. And as you can see, I was able to have the security code automatically entered in for me. Congratulations, you have just successfully replaced your RDX car battery. I hope this video has helped you with replacing your RDX car battery. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up to date for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.